This is the 223rd episode of Cloud Focus Weekly for the third week of August 2015. This episode is titled Dreamforce Rolling. Hey guys, Cloud Focus Weekly will be live at Dreamforce 15 in the admin zone Tuesday, September 15th at 3.30 p.m. Wednesday, September 16th at 9.30 a.m. And Thursday, September 17th at 1.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. This is all in the success community. So you'll have that information there. You should come by, hang out, listen to us yeah. actually in person, and get some cool swag. Let's do it. I'm your host, Jason Atwood, and joining me, who's already talking up because yeah, he's yeah, so I'm psyched a, I'm to here. be on I'm a Friday. psyched. I'm pumped. He's pumped to be on a Friday. A Friday pod. I love it. A Friday pod is Justin Edelstein. Justin, how are you doing today? I'm doing great. You know, I feel like I should also mention before we get into the agenda yes uh because it's not on the agenda and i just want to mention it that um is it really not on the agenda well no it's not um but i tweeted something this morning um about two hours ago now which is about nine o'clock a.m on the east coast um where there's a big event coming from salesforce live oh yes um so it's august 25th next week which is next week at 4 p.m. Pacific. So we're here in the East Coast, 7 p.m. here. It was 7. Yeah, 7 o'clock. It's late for us. But uh, you can go to, uh, I I linked to it in the tweet, to go register, and you can witness the unveiling of the new Salesforce. They're unveiling a new Salesforce, and... Everyone should check this out in a live event where there'll be live tweeting. Parker Harris will be presenting. A lot of biggie wiggies from Salesforce will be presenting. There's only on really this. one more biggie wiggy than Parker Harris. It only goes uh, one layer higher. So check that event out. Um, it'll be live streaming and tweeting and all sorts of fun stuff. Um, can't say much more than that, but you should definitely try and check can that out. Can I tell out. them all about it? You Sel- can't actually. Salesforce Pro? <laughs> <laughs> Salesforce Ultimate Edition. Ultimate they edition. already have that, don't they? Yeah, they do. You're making fun of something that already exists. It's Salesforce Extreme, Super Stream. Super um, Duper Stream. Yeah. All right. So I got that out of the All way. All right. Check my, check my Twitter uh, from Friday morning. I'm it's, surprised it's on you haven't gotten linked. a million emails from Salesforce already about it. All right. Let's move on. I have some other news. Okay. Um, this is a, we are, uh, if you are a, Power of Us Hub user, yeah. So someone who is in the nonprofit community, and Power of Us Hub is sort of the uh, clone to the success community, but for nonprofits, a little bit different, but pretty much the same. Um, just want to let you know, we actually now have a group there as well, a Cloud Focus Weekly podcast group. Um, and the reason is because there are people who only kind of go into Power of Us Hub, and they don't really go over to the success community. And we want to make sure that you too had a chance to. Um, catch up with us that way so there is a new group there we will add that to our little speech at the bottom but i wanted to to, to break it out at the top all right so let's get started with our agenda agendas speaking of agendas um the first of our dreamforce 15 blog posts are up um, Ooh, i was wow. with i was with a prospect yesterday and i walked in and I said, "Oh, hi, I'm Jason Atwood," and he goes, "He goes, uh, he goes, oh yeah, I have your your face on my screen," and I'm like, "What? Okay. Who? What face?" He's like, "Oh, I was just reading your blog post on, oh. on Dreamforce 15." I was like, He's "Oh, got your put him up there on 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 his screen." I know it's a little it was a little odd, a little odd. I I it's funny when you blog, you think you don't. You just like eh, whatever. No one reads it, but then you go into situations. People are like, yeah, I was just reading. I met another person who was who's listening to our podcast. And I was... remember the first time that happened to me. I, it was at a a Cloud Force New York oh, yes. about four years ago, and I was just walking around, and someone walked up to me and introduced themselves to me, and I was like, hello, and he's like, oh, yeah, I just wanted to say hi. I mean. I, I love your podcast. And I was oh, like, nice. oh, wow. What just happened? What just happened? <laughs> that's weird. So um, so anyway, we have started the first of the series. Uh, I kicked it off with the um, one called Dreamforce 15 for banking and financial services. Yes. So this, as Arcus, we are a company that does a lot in this space. And so, um, you know, we th- occasionally throw up blog posts and 
and or podcasts about it. So this one's just listing off a bunch of sessions that you know might be interesting. I'm just going to throw out one because it's um, there's actually two that are that are sort of financial services connected. Well, um, they ought to be. This yeah, is I mean, the there's one that's services. about cross selling at your bank. There's one about the the keynote, obviously. Um, but uh, I thought the you've changed field audit trails and the Salesforce time machine. That's one that I think is interesting. It's about the whole new Salesforce shield architecture yeah. and the new, um, uh, the field audit field History audit. Thing yeah. Which I played for. with a, a client of mine has it client of yours, kind of ours. Thank you. Well, you can have them back. Uh, no, they, they, they were, they got a, what an extended uh, trial for it. Um, it was interesting. It wasn't, mind blowing i'm a little disappointed that so like it's... what does it do just let you track 60 instead of 20 and just run the same report and longer and just keep it for longer years. wow yeah. and set the time on it like how long do i want to keep it or yeah. does it just no you gotta do that years. through like you can't just do that through we have to do it through like a metal layer it's not even it's like that's hidden but the 60 is I, I will say, you know, sometimes we come down on Salesforce and they just had a great quarter and they're just the most innovative oh, company yeah. in the world. I watched the video all over but the place But this is the type of stuff that drives me crazy. You take a feature that you used to make for free that you could put in a ticket, a case, and you could get up from 20 to 60. Um, and you turn it into a pay thing that's a percentage of your ACV. So it's not cheap. Um I kind of, I, I thought this was one of those, I don't think this is a great thing. They, it's, it's something that they should have just included either as a, I don't know. I mean, because when you take some of those free and you make it into something that you're paying for now and you kind of try to make it into a bigger thing and put it, eh, I'm not I'm not so excited about it. So, um, again, if you could never have gotten it for free before, I thought, oh, but so anyway, I, I'm going to go to that session and yell at them. Okay. <laughs> That's what I'm going to do. All right. Go read that at blog.arcusinc.com or as we're now calling it, Arcus Blog. The Arcus Blog. No. Just Arcus Blog. Arcus Blog. Uh, Arcus Blog, correctly. ABC. Um, so next up, speaking of things that come and go and features that come and go, I got an email the other day from my friendly Salesforce people. You did. Uh, that said... It was one of those with a big blue banner that says, things are changing. Get ready for things to change. And I was like, oh, what's changing? What's going on? Um, and sometimes I'd ignore them because sometimes they're very like very specific. And I'm like, eh, that doesn't matter to me at all. Mm. This one caught me by a surprise. Uh, and it was, it was that they're, uh, I think, starting in winter... Winter 16, 16 which the pre-release orgs are already available. I already signed up for mine. Um, that the LinkedIn feature of the social contacts, which came out at least two years ago. I'm going to go with two. Yeah. Well, that's what Good I just guess. said. Good guess. Um, is going away. Yeah. And it never really was there. <laughs> what? It, was ne- it never existed? It was always just a beta that just showed someone's picture and title, and you couldn't do anything with. It well, was and, never it was a, real. and it was an advertisement for you to go buy the the, the other services thing, yeah. that was like seventy five dollars a month That's per person. Not right. It was. It wasn't very expensive. that much. I've signed up for it three times. I paid. It wasn't the bill. that much like though. Sixty nine. No way. Yeah. No, I'm serious. No way. I I, no. I have I have credit card bills Dude, to show you. No. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. This is this is another one of those disappointments i guess why are you so disappointed why i am i like the feature why it does nothing oh because i did with all the people all the contacts in my org i'd go in and add the picture almost nothing well right but i can get their picture from other places with the other little apps the twitter and not as good though because most people put a good picture in linkedin and twitter they put like them and the dog i'm fine with that and 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 it's totally facebook Facebook, it's never them it's like i'm okay with i'm okay with Salesforce deciding that a feature that really has very little impact is not being used. They don't want to move forward with it and just okay. be done with it. All I'm right. perfectly fine with it. I mean, again, it was always it. the thing that brings me down from like m- m- mostly angry to just like eh, a little ticked is it was always a beta, which I thought was kind of, I think it's kind of stupid to have something be a beta for two years. That's I know that's the way we do things nowadays, but I think wasn't that's... Gmail beta for like four and years, it was, and it was dumb. I think it was ten, but it was dumb. Still right. beta. Yeah, 
the whole thing is beta. No, it's it's an excuse not to put out good code. It's like, well, it's beta, so it doesn't have to work well. You know, oh, hey, this thing broke. Oh, it's beta. You know what? I was flying on a plane last night, and they came out and they said, oh, the operating system for this plane still in beta. So if the whole plane crashes, I wouldn't have gotten on that plane. <laughs> if the whole plane crashes, sorry, that needs to be beta. That needs to be. Like explained up front for planes. Yes, this plane is beta. Yeah, no. See you next. It's alpha. See you next flight. Yeah, um, I'll be walking. I I just and well, okay. And here's here's okay. A, here's another piece that I think point you know, counterpoint. Point counterpoint. <laughs> Remember that when this came out, they took a free app on the App Exchange. They did that did something better. Yes, that was free. Correct. And they shut it down. Yes, they they basically, I guess they crippled the ability for you to connect to the linkedin api from salesforce unless you because were they had the free version they had their pay version right so and i don't know who i, I don't know where this sits again i don't know if it's salesforce or linkedin my guess is probably more linkedin because there's, there's no benefit for salesforce to shut this down but i can see linkedin being like hey this is just not you know, not working for us or whatever not making the money i i never liked that it was basically an ad but I like the little minor functionality. It never even could give you a link to the profile, which I thought would be a nice feature. So it's like I wish they had just taken it, made it real, like the cloud one and whatever. Which goes on to say, are social contacts going? Are they disappearing? My guess is no. But you wrote, is clout next? And I could see them. I don't hear anyone talking about their clout scores. I mean, I log into clout every single day. Why? Well, because it's on my tabs. It's one of my tabs that opens up. That's the only reason. Yeah. Well, and it's if every Salesforce one of your tabs. Well, and it's as soon as as soon as they remove it from Salesforce, I will stop looking at it. Right. So you really don't care. I only pay attention to it because it's in every Salesforce org. Yeah. So I kind of to me these things are. I feel like they'll eventually be replaced with better functionality coming from their real like social studio or something deeper yes. than these yes but for now these are what are considered I, social I, I guess the other thing that, that it was a toe dip it was a we have social built in right i just i guess i just wish that a they would give a little more explanation as to why it's disappearing be that they have something that they can replace it with that if there were someone there might be organizations that they use this as part of their system but to is the linkedin people. app itself disappearing or is just that little thing at the top well the in that you'll never be able to get to the to, you know that link never even linked you to the app it linked you to like it was really badly done. yeah but the linkedin app itself what the the one the you pay for that you pay well, for you see, that's it's it's two things it's an app you install in salesforce right but then it's a premium service you have to sign up for in linkedin i understand both sides okay but is that I have hand puppets if you don't understand well hello. thank you hello, hello. <laughs> are are they yeah, both di- are off they so both much. disappearing or is just i don't the know linkedin social contact I think thing. just the social contact then whatever you've got your little replacement that little social contact thing never didn't do anything anyway you've got your I liked app it. i liked it no the app is terrible but that's and the expensive. thing that people would build their process around not the silly little chiclet at the time i what like process are you building pictures. around that? that that maybe they connected all what if someone went through their org and paid some intern to go make sure that everybody's picture was on their contacts then they paid an intern to do a data task that now is irrelevant okay which basically everyone does okay you don't not a big deal. All right, because you don't use the feature. I I do. Whenever I I try to get their pictures, whenever I enter a new contact or a lead or something, but it's not the biggest thing in the world. It if just I seems can. backwards. It seems like it's going backwards. If you get but rid it's of not it, a good replace feature. It, play it with, replace it, then make it better. Don't sit on or, it for two years. Or say make this it is not worth it. Then make it better. Or it's not worth it. And um, get rid of it. All right, cut bait. Speaking of cutting bait, five years in a row, Salesforce most innovative company. By Forbes, kudos, kudos to Salesforce to them. and a day for their before innovation. They, by the way, a day before they announced their earnings, we never, you know what? We don't actually talk about their earnings. I'm okay with that. Yeah, this is not the podcast for that. Hey, I like this one though. Um, that that in this same article where we're reading this, which is on the Salesforce blog, we're reading. Uh, well, I mean, we're looking at it. Okay. They they're also talking about how their Lean In Together initiative. Um, which was designed to empower women in the workplace. Uh, 
that that this year they were named one of the top 13 companies for women technologists by the anita borg institute that's very cool which is uh which is fantastic that is fantastic and they have their women's leadership summit at dreamforce i do which i think i saw someone write something rather cheeky about um on one of the uh community boards where like yeah where it was like they were they were talking about it and then like the two main presenters were not women but i'm looking at it and it looks like the main presenters really are um mark benioff and parker harris and they will talk to all of these influential women so like okay fine like the key people that are doing the um just one of the sessions the lean in together session is led by mark and parker that's to me that's fine i mean these are like the leaders of the company and they're just going to be well, talking isn't to, that saying something that the, leaders the ceo be- of the company right. and the other co-founder i mean yeah. just so happens that they founded the company together yeah. and they're both men that's just it what, what i love but they're going to be interviewing many many leadership uh or women in leadership um positions so what I love about what Salesforce will do, and this is a Mark Benioff thing more than anything, but that he will take an issue um, and he will kind of go after it. Like he's not afraid to say, yeah, he hey, takes a stance. Yeah, I'm going to go after this issue. And he does it ra- rapidly and he'll, you know, again, this came, this is like the issue that is now and he's gone after a couple others. And I applaud him for it. My, I always in the back of my, ha- my head, the thing that comes up or that I think about is, is this the issue that should – because there's many issues out there in the world. I mean we could talk about poverty and hunger and and you know uh, uh, a pestilence and, and there's things that are going on and you know the rest of the world. This is a very like in our country issue. Mm-hmm. Um, but I always think like, well, if, if you're as a company that you have the power, the amazing power that a company that's whatever, $7 billion, $7 billion company has, like – how do you make sure that the issues that you put your weight behind are the ones that you're not ignoring other issues that could be bigger, more powerful, whatever. And I know he does a lot of stuff, but um, I applaud this. I mean, I think this is great. I think of like, you know, there's racial inequality in the workforce and that's not, so they're, they're focusing on more gender inequality, but not racial inequality. Okay. Well, you know, that's sort of another way to look at it. He's always done this from a, like taking a stance, going after it, even from the very start of founding the company based on the fact that they were going to be a cloud computing company. Like that is taking a stance. Right. Like outside of social and economic. Mobile. um, And solo mo. Yeah. So outside of that, uh, it's just taking a stance and saying, I believe in this and I'm going after it. Right. And basically created this market that didn't exist called cloud computing, right? I mean, they were like pioneers, they were trailblazers in that space. So he does this with, with social issues as well. And obviously from the beginning with one, 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 he's blazed that trail as well. Yep. Absolutely. So good stuff. Um, Still innovating after all these years. Oh, good one. Yeah. Good. Right. Is that in their video? Did you steal that from somewhere? No, I just made that up just a second ago uh good for you next up salesforce and e-commerce question mark question mark i think we're gonna learn a lot more about this at dreamforce but it's out there just like they do salesforce is uh, like the anti-apple like they They pre-announce everything they pre-announce everything just to get you pumped right um so they've outlined some plans to integrate commerce into their communities platform by um partnering with demandware cloud craze and big commerce so these are apparently some big e-commerce players well little commerce was gonna do it yeah but but then they they, got big commerce they got big commerce so i think what we're gonna see at dreamforce is some lightning componentized widgetry for bringing e-commerce into your communities right and building if you were to think about i think this article uses like etsy as an example right of a place where you know you log in and people can just you know create little 
widgety type of things that they create and sell them. Uh, yeah, Etsy, I think, is a maybe not a great example because well, that's the example Etsy's that a is, website. Well, so is a community. Yeah, but it's a private community that you need to have a license to log into. Well, Etsy is sort of the same. Like, Etsy themselves, do they actually make anything? No. Yeah, I think, I think this like is where I always went. Amazon? When Salesforce goes towards the sort of retail market and retail websites and something that I have a little bit of knowledge about, um, I always I always see it as it, and they did it with ideas. And I always see it as kind of, it starts to bang up against their licensing scheme, right? When you want to do e-commerce, e-commerce is not about selling licenses to individuals. E-commerce is about going on, quick buying, you know, getting in. You don't no, sell licenses but I think to your what, platform. No, I, I think what this, so we will find out more. Yes. But I think what this is, is Arcus wants to um, allow for uh, people to buy stuff. Yes. From got that from them or but inside the community which no, they need a license or, to get to or yeah or allow other people to sell things via us because we have such a big presence in some space that does not make any sense to me well that's kind of what Etsy is right right but you hear you hear what I'm saying about by it's again it's it's sort of the it's the issue of the licensing. Where Salesforce makes money is licensing, and where e-commerce happens is not licensing. E-commerce happens at not licensing out. E-commerce platforms are not about, for every user who wants to buy your Etsy, they need to have a license to log in and to buy it. That's Right, not- but, if you're er- but if you already have a customer service community, okay, okay? you have a community yep. set up for service. Okay. And you're servicing your customers through this community. So I bought them all licenses. No. Okay. You have not. You have okay. bought volume licenses. Volume licenses. So you're, you're, I bought them licenses in volume, but it's fine. Fine. But you're already using fine. Salesforce's communities to service your customers. Now you can Why put, not be able to sell them stuff right. at the same now time? Now you have to, I totally get it. But that's where I, when you say Etsy, it's kind of weird because Etsy is a publicly it's a public facing retail but that, outlet I, okay so that's an example that was given in this thing but what i'm saying is if you already have a community set up for whatever it might be in in most cases service but sometimes it's just a just a a private label community right, right. why not be able to sell things sounds good like backpacks they, that makes total <laughs> sense all right let's move on all right fine uh here's this last one someone else sent me this one um so google for work announced um this thing called dell chrome box for meetings instant collaboration and easy to manage it looks to me like a box a little chrome box thing with a little keyboard and a speaker and a whole little like conference room and a box if you will god it's like on this page that you link to there is almost nothing that tells you what this thing does well this is like the 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 landing page oh the buy it page yeah it's the landing page so so then you can get into like a little bit more but for the most part it is like a uh it's a conference room in a box well it's it's teleconferencing which used to cost a crap ton of money you've spent $50,000, $100,000 Fifty thousand, hundred thousand dollars for setting up conferencing and, yep. and whatever, and this comes with a little webcam you stick on top of your big TV. Like yep. we have one right here. Oh, you polycom stick, looking phone. Polycom phone you throw onto the desk. You throw the Chrome box behind the TV, like yep. we have our Apple TV, and then you have your little Apple remotable little remote report. Can I know there's someone daily? at our company is going to come and be like, we need to get this. Well, that someone sent me this. Oh, okay. We don't need this. But okay. I'm just saying for starting at nine ninety nine, dollars 250 annual management support fee. What are you supporting? I guess if the thing stops working, you can maybe call them and be like, Features, display help size. Me out, man. Before purchasing Chromebook, please review the important information in your processor. If you have an existing Google Apps main, please make sure it's very important. This is really weird. Glad that you just... read this before. Well, I didn't because you put it on just before the <laughs> I podcast. I put this on yesterday, my friend. Okay. Well, I was doing other things yesterday, as we've been saying. <laughs> I was traveling <laughs> while you were doing big things like setting up this that I did a week ago. You're, you're darn right. Um, I, it's cool, I, I guess. I'm, I'm just trying to think like 
I, what I like is that the cost, because I know well, these things cost, cost a lot of money. You can integrate it with your calendar to schedule meetings and rooms. Cool. You can screen share wirelessly. You can cool. collaborate on docs, obviously, during the meeting, but you can like see cool. each other, and you can join from laptops, computers, or phones. I wonder what it uses the software. Don't know. Because if it's Hangouts, then I'm like, mm, it could be. Less interesting. Never know. Yeah. But Dell Chromebox for meetings. Google it. Google it. That's interesting. You should have made that your pick. No, it was an um, article. I have a pick. All right. Uh, well, we have spent some time. Oh, 25 minutes. Okay. It's a Friday, so we're not doing a long one this week. Um, right. I have next time, depending <laughs> depending on... Uh, I just had to delete something off of there. You are not to say that. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness I, I actually think i'm allowed to say that no you are on, not based on everything that's out there but okay no i'm not, not going to be the one but yeah so there's big news coming the next new week. salesforce the new that's salesforce. it the new salesforce right that's the words cloud sure <laughs> lightning storms lightning <gasps> lightning 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 what does that mean i'm thunder? so excited thunder. thunder oh now i'm throwing teasers at thunder thunder what's thunder lightning Thunder maybe or may not exist. Okay, um, so right. we'll we'll the Recap only issue that. is that I don't know if we're going to be able to do that next week. Well, everyone join the live webcast, right? So I think we're going to be doing that. The we'll be tweeting week. during it, so you might. But see I will. Us right. So I think this will be a. We will probably not have a podcast next week because you don't think so. No, because I'm on vacation. Oh, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Oh, okay. And there's no point in doing one before this thing. So next week we'll That's after true. we've taken it all in. Or the week after. That's All right. True, so let's true. get to our cloud focus at picks of the week. But before we do that, yeah, I want to remind everybody that we really appreciate all the reviews on Stitcher oh, and yeah, iTunes. We, we like those. And so we love when you follow us on Facebook and LinkedIn and the Success Community and the Power of Us Hub groups. Um, so if you uh, really enjoy, we like hearing it in person, obviously, but we'd really appreciate all the new reviews and things going on in those places um, and following us there. So this is my way of doing that before what everybody wants to hear, which is you pick something you've never used. What did you pick That's this week? True. That's not <laughs> true. That's not true. That's not true. Don't this you week? go there. What did you pick? Mail on, on the iPhone? He's giving, this me, dead he's, air is he's, your fault. he's giving me such a look. This dead air is all He's having your such a good day, and I'm just trying to bring him down. All right, go for it. Tell me what. what... Munchery. Okay. This is for people like me. Okay. Let me explain this Wait. to you. Let me think of people like no, you. Let me explain this. All so, right. you know my eating habits. <sighs> right? You know how I. Remember don't... how we didn't have any podcasts in June, kids? <laughs> 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 Mostly due to my eating habits. <laughs> E. coli doesn't grow yeah, on trees, kids. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so everybody, whatever Jess is about to say, please no, just no, fast no, no. forward. Stop good. listening. This is good. This is good. Is this a way of not getting E. coli? Maybe, maybe not. <laughs> you never know when you might get E. coli. It's it's so common. In, in okay, remember your eating habits. Yes, let's hear about Munchery. Third world New York City. Um, uh, so you know how I'm, I, I order out for like everything. Yeah. So this is me. I live on seamless. I, I, I couldn't live without it, but so many things to say. Munchery. <laughs> you almost died because of it, but okay. <laughs> well, we don't know that it could have so, been you. Yeah. It could have been food. I ate at your house. Yeah, sure. So anyway, Munchery yep. is an app. It's also a website. Uh, the apps on your phone, uh, the iPhone, I'm picking the iPhone version here. And I like iPhones. Yep, yep, yep. So what you do is you go on there, and every week they create a new menu in advance of. So in advance of next week, there's a menu now for next week, and you okay. go on there and you can pick meals that are created by well-known chefs. Okay. In your city, I think it's okay. only in four cities right now. Is this New York the one that you're one of them. Friends in. No, that is a part this of is, so. So this is different. So okay. So I actually told someone else about this, and they asked the same question. This is not Blue Apron. Oh, okay. This is not. We send you a bunch of ingredients and the exact amount, and you cook the meal. Oh, okay. Based on our directions or instructions or recipe, whatever. This is. We have chefs who've created these meals. They've we've cooked them that day, and we. And we deliver them to you. Okay. So it's basically like ordering on Seamless, but it's right. ordering like 
a little higher quality and you can do it well in advance. So you could actually plan oh, out. So like Tuesday, we're going to have yeah. Munchery for dinner. Tuesday, we're going to have this from Munchery. Wednesday, we're going to have this from Munchery. Okay. Thursday, we're going to have this. And they deliver it within a one hour time frame that you tell them on the day that you want it and you can order it a week in advance. So I got I got one last night that I ordered a week ago okay. because I knew last night I had a doctor's appointment at six o'clock. Right. And I knew I wasn't going to get home till like seven 30. Okay. So I wanted like dinner. So I said, have it delivered between seven and eight. Okay. And when I got home, it was actually there waiting okay. for me at the, at the front desk. I brought it upstairs. I put it in the oven for 12 minutes and I had, Oh, you still had to cook it. I had to heat it. Okay. Is it, it, it was, um, it was. I had a steak with mashed potatoes, and then uh, some roasted tomatoes and asparagus, and it okay. was really good. And it was um, everything ranges like sides all the way up to entrees range from like three four dollars up to like fifteen dollars. You get a meal. It's actually quite the concept. I guess I'm just I'm looking at like classic California roll, and I'm like. Yeah, I wouldn't order that. Why would I order an eight dollar classic California roll no, from? But Chef look at some of the John better. Trong? Look at some of the better things on there. I mean, this one comes things? with Google Play, <laughs> a music mix that you can listen to while you eat your music. That's awesome. That's ridiculous. Anyway, I've used it, and my first could meal you was be really good in your Airbnb and be eating munchery. I assume you could. I have this thing. All right, so my pick. So of the you're week. a jerk. First yes, of all, I know everything I pick. You I just want to. I'm just trying to figure out why slam. this is interesting. Why uh, is this not but, but interesting? I have a pick you this can, week. Here. It's called supermarkets. Wait, they wait, have do places you, that do you sell use food. Fresh Direct? Yes, I do. It's basically Fresh Direct, but already cooked meals every single day. Okay. Why is that any different? It's just a, what's the difference between ordering this in a restaurant? Because it's like because I could plan this out over the course before the week, and okay. it in my mind is a little bit healthier and a little bit nicer. Okay. Than ordering from a restaurant, depending on what you're ordering. I mean, if you're ordering sushi, you probably want to just order from the sushi restaurant, not off this. But if you want to order a steak with some mashed potatoes and whatever, I think you'd order that from here. Okay. All right. And why do you have to critique anyway? You picked summer 12. Is it 12? Sure, so it wasn't You 13? picked a release I as did. your app. That's so good. So you never get to win. I always get to win. Not in this argument. Munchery. Get it now. Munch, munch, munch. You should try it. If I, you want to try it, though. I'm, wait, if you want to try it, you got to go through like my signing list. No. So you get 10 free dollars. No. Why would you not want a free meal? I, well, I'm going to pick something. Why would you not want a free meal? I'm going to pick something. I'm picking. Why don't you pick something stupid? I'm going to pick something called Kitchen. <laughs> it's a place where you can cook food in your house. <laughs> so I just retired. You will not see me at Dreamforce podcasting with Jason. I'm done. You hear this? This is the mic dropping. Uh, kitchen. There it goes. Mic uh, drop. You just picked Kitchen. <laughs> it comes with a fridge that you can store food for periods of time. All right. I'm going to pick something you actually might want. Um, Pick whatever you want. I'm not paying attention. Okay. So I bought this the other day because um, I've been looking for something. We're both Apple Watch users, and I have been looking for a stand. There's been all sorts of stands up there, but I'm waiting for one because I basically didn't want something expensive. Like, I don't need an expensive stand to put my Apple Watch in. I just want something that holds the little battery thing on it so it's like easier to take in and out. And so I found one called – it's called. It's probably called Sp- – Spigen, Spigen, S P I G E N. It's called the Apple Watch Night. Why don't you like spell it correctly and even learn how to pronounce your pick? It's Munchin, Munchy, Munchers. You don't even know how to pronounce your own pick. Why would I know how to pronounce Spigen? Spigen. Who cares? It's called the Apple Watch Nightstand S three fifty. Um, it there on their website. It's nineteen ninety dollar, nineteen ninety nine. That doesn't even look like an Apple Watch. It's because it's in their. It, they have a ca- they also sell a case so it is why would you apple want a watch. case well they this is not for their case it just it's an apple watch stand so if you go to the link that's in amazon i don't know if i linked it in amazon it's about 10 bucks it's 10 bucks on amazon and it and what's nice is it has a little rubberized bottom so it can, doesn't move 
and then it sits on its side. So when the new OS comes out, when you do the night watch thing or whatever it's whatever mode that's called, where you can have it as a thing. Anyway, bought it the other day. It's kind of cool. It's just easier to get your watch Did on you and buy off. It, of it already? Yeah, I already have one. How does it work? It's great. It, it already works. Yeah, it's just a it's it's a it's a piece of rubber that sit that has like it has a thing on the bottom so it can't skid, and then you it sits so it puts the the charger thing in it, and then you can just easily put your watch on it, and it's sideways. So when the new you know when that new software that allows when the new update when you can see like the night it's called nightstand mode so then when it's sitting on your nightstand charging it's gonna be sideways and it's just in the thing it's 10 bucks on amazon so i was like okay i bought it why don't just you to put the apple shot. watch oh there it is apple watch stand from spygen yes charging dock apple watch stand yes premium whatever yeah you see it's it's i mean it's very very basic there's nothing there's nothing special about it and that's why i was like okay for 10 bucks i can try a little stand what I really love is a is a black cord, <laughs> a black charging cord, because everything in my on my side is is uh, that is what the one white cord. Anyway, it's called the Apple Watch Stand S three fifty. It is on Amazon for ten bucks or ten ninety nine, shipped for free on Amazon Prime. It's kind of cool, um, a nice little one. It's worth if you don't have a stand. This is a nice cheap. I don't stand. have a stand. Yeah, it's a cheap stand to get. Yeah. Um. All I right. Just bought it. Did you really? <laughs> yes. You just, I, you know what? You just, you could have bought this stand, or you could have paid for a, half of a munch. A I munchery. actually have a twenty-five dollar Amazon gift card. Okay, just that, sitting there in gone. my account. So now there you go. Eleven ninety-nine. I can't it's believe you. St- I can't believe you're still on this podcast. I feel like you gave up on me. Can you get? Can you wrap this up? Yeah, I'm wrapping it up. <laughs> I'm saying we got to get out of here because we got to. We got to. We got to get a sporting event to go to. Um, so saying follow Justin at just Edelstein, follow me at Jason and Matt follow the company, everything else we already told you. We will not be back next week. We'll be back the week after. Remember at Dreamforce, we're doing three sessions, so we'll catch up. And, uh, until then, Justin, Jason saying, enjoy those cloudy days. <laughs> <laughs>